All right, guys, let's clean up some parts. All right, guys, let's uh, let's get this stuff mixed up and see uh, see how well it cleans. There it is, crud cutter, parts cleaner, or excuse me, parts washer, cleaner, and degreaser. It's supposed to be good for steel, aluminum, copper, brass, iron, plastics, rubber, and more. Which is a very vague term to leave at the end of that, but should do what we need it to do here. So let me get this here poured in. We'll get some water in there. We'll mix it all up and see if we can find something to clean. All right, guys. Let's get this here all mixed up. It says uh, 10 to 1. So we'll try that first. If that's not good enough, we'll uh, mix up uh, some more. I've got another gallon I can put in there and make it double strength. All right. That's number 10. All right, here goes nothing. Yeah, look at that. Works just like it ought to. Excellent. I'm gonna let this thing circulate for a little bit and try to mix up the cleaning solution in here. We'll be back in just a few minutes. All right, guys. Well, it's been a little while. Uh, actually, I went and had a thing with a little family there, and uh, I'm back now. So I stirred this stuff all up, uh, let it circulate for a good while. So I'm pretty sure the the sauce is mixed just right. Um, I just got to look around here and see if I can find something that's uh, dirty enough to be worthy of testing this stuff. Oh, dang. Uh, well, what about this stuff? Is that dirty enough, you think? Let's, uh, let's get this in here. Jeez, Dave, I told you to stop leaving your, your old broken Atlas parts laying around the shop here. All right, we'll get them cleaned up. Don't worry about it. Maybe we'll get these things welded back together or something, too, even, huh? Oh boy, that went way too dirty. All right, let me get some gloves here. All right, well, let's see if this water-based stuff will actually do anything here. Get a little something coming off at least, right? All right, well, we'll fast forward through most of this. All right, let's uh, beef this solution up a little bit. All right, that should help. So right now that's uh, two parts crud cutter to uh, 10 parts water. So uh, let's turn this thing on. We'll let it mix here for a little while. And then we'll come back and we'll We'll work on some more of these parts, probably try to finish this one here up. I think it's, it looks like it's pretty clean now, but there's still just a little bit hanging on there. I don't know. It's, that was really, really heavy. I mean, <laughs> this, this machine here, this came off of my Atlas lathe actually. 
it's 1957. Sometimes I wonder if anybody ever cleaned that machine its whole whole life. It sure seemed like there was a whole lifetime of grease on there, but anyway, it was pretty rough. So we're gonna let this mix up a little bit. We'll be back. All right, guys, I left this stuff uh, circulating for about a half an hour. It got really foamy, so I shut it off and let it, you know, sort of settle down. But let's turn it back on, see if it's uh, working a little bit better now, as far as the solvent goes. I think this stuff probably would benefit a lot from uh, letting the parts kind of soak a little bit, I think, first. So some of this stuff has probably been sitting in here for maybe an hour or so. Grab these, there's some parts for this too. A lot of really thick built up grease on this stuff here, so it's hard to get off. This counter shaft bracket looks like it's uh, cleaned up quite a lot though. Some of the stuff I thought was grease on some of this is actually uh, little flaws in the castings, little lumps and bumps and stuff. For the most part, I think I just about got this cleaned up. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna set it aside for right now. And uh, we're not gonna make any attempt to wash this stuff off. It's supposed to be uh, like a rust preventative built into this stuff. So we're just gonna lay it out here on the concrete floor and see what happens. I think I need to get a better brush. This one doesn't have very stiff bristles and it's, yeah, I mean, it's doing it, I guess, but it's not doing a very good job. Now, what do you guys think of that? Still got a big chunk of stuff stuck on here. Well, it's cleaning up pretty decent. All right, set that one aside. That's the other piece of that counter counter shaft. So put them together. Well, I don't know what they got into this stuff here, but man, that stuff is hard to get off of there. It's, I don't even want to call that grease. I mean, that's, here. There's an old piece of junk screwdriver or a chisel here. But... Man, that stuff is just ridiculous. Alrighty, well, in the interest of uh, experimentation, we're gonna we're gonna take this piece here. It's still got a little bit of stuff to come off of it yet, but it's really stuck bad. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna put it down here. We're just gonna let it sit in there and soak for eh day or two. We'll come back probably after Christmas and see how it looks. I probably won't film any of it, but I'll leave a I'll leave a report in the comments and I'll pin it to the top.
All right. Well, if you guys uh, enjoy this kind of content, uh, why don't you click the subscribe button over here for uh, more. I've been trying to put them up pretty regular. And uh, please uh, check out these other videos that are coming up down here below. And uh, check out Dave's channel. He's got all kinds of neat stuff. He's a motivated guy.